What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my Christ subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up at the be notified for future readings. This is hashtag glow up for Sana Aries. This can resonate to have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, work that means you're in your chart. Stuff can basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, this is hashtag glow up. So this is a little different than my other series. Um, Truth Hidden is a, like the negative aspects series. Uh, what people don't want you to know, the sneaky, shy, crap. This is a positive aspect, positive series, focusing on healing growth, um, positive changes in one's life, etc., etc., etc. et, cetera, et, cetera, et cetera. Um, I did get one channel message as I was meditating on your hashtag glow up for May of 2022. And I heard about to shut the door in those haters' faces is what I heard. Just seriously, for real, for real, a strong ass energy. Aries, about to shut the door in those haters' faces. Okay. I heard you get one more on Moon Cycle. Oh, okay. So you're about to shut the door in those haters' faces. Uh, whoever you are and how that resonates. Who you could be a masculine or feminine Aries. Um, you're about to shut the door in those haters' faces. Whoever you are and how that applies. It could be somebody you're connected to, but I feel for a majority of you guys, it's you. <laughs> you plug it in how it resonates. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,600 and um, I think it's 55 subscribers right now. Thanks so much. Uh, I think it's 55. Um, but thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's a very private, private, confidential way to donate if you choose to, uh, choose to or feel guided to donate. I appreciate each and every donation to help support a single mom, one of her income streams. So thanks so much. I love and appreciate you guys. If you think anyone else, one else would like my channel, benefit from the messages, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, please feel free to share my channel very publicly on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Number 13, 29, or 8 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 13, 29, or 8, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in uh, one's life. 13, 29, or 8. About to shut the door in those haters' faces, Aries. Dear Lord. You have wheel upright, hunger upright, indecision reversed. I think the wheel with the indecision reversed and all of it. The wheel energy, hunger energy, and the indecision reversed. So no, um, you made a decision. You're about to shut the door in those haters' faces. You have will to do it, hunger to do it. You made a decision. Lord have mercy. Wheel. A particular Aries is about to stand up to a lot of people in their life soon. A lot of people about to go against the grain. Oh my Lord. Whoa. Strong energy, Aries. You plug it in how it resonates. A particular Aries, uh, whoever you are, masculine or femme, you plug it in how it resonates. You're about to stand up to, I heard a lot of people in your life. So it's not just one person. It sounds like it's um, two or two plus people. It sounds like a lot of people for some of you. I heard a lot for some of you guys. So I feel it's like, I don't know how many ever people, um, five, six, 50, however that resonates. But a lot of people um, about to go against the grain. So you're about to go against the grain in some shape, form, or fashion. I think it's standing up to these people, person or people. Um, it could be about person, people, place, family, situation, etc. But um, about to go against the grain in some aspect, whether it's standing up to these people or not, but you're about to have wheel, desire, drive, and motiv motivation to do this. Coupled with the hunger energy, you made a decision to do it. Holy crap. Hunger upright. A particular Aries is deciding to go on a diet. They're about to do it this time. Not going to starve themselves though. They have went on diets in the past. They they have felt very hungry. Oh my lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to decide to go on a diet, I heard. Um, you So whoever that's for, you went on a diet in the past, it sounds like, and you felt very hungry. So I think you, 
you starved yourself. I, I don't think you starved yourself, but I think you went on a, maybe it was a calorie counting diet and, um, you know, it was like some lettuce leaves and some tomatoes and you were hungry as hell. I mean, I don't know. Only you know the story and anybody else, but whatever it was, it was not satisfying you sensationally, uh, obviously in your body. You still felt hungry. I uh, heard you're not going to go that route this time. So I think you're whatever route and the diet realm you're about to go in, it's about you're about to change it up, whatever it is. Now, I just will let you guys know I've done keto before and I'm doing it now. And keto is a wonderful way to do it. As long as you don't go crazy. Uh, in my opinion, as long as you don't do crazy keto and have your ketones so high and start having kidney issues and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if you, I do the lax keto where it, um, you still get carbs, but um, you're not depleting your body so bad and your ketone level's not so high. But of course, only you know your story, not anybody else. Whatever diet you're about to do. But the keto diet has worked well for me. I lost 150 freaking pounds over the course of like eight years with that. And that's the truth. Now, I've gained about 20, 25 of it back now. I'm at 163 when I went in um, to the Workman's Compensation Clinic last week. I was 163 pounds. That's the heaviest I've been in many years. But I'm working on getting it down now. But whoever this is for, my point is you're about to go on a diet. You've decided you have the wheel, you've made the decision, you're going on a diet, you're changing it up from whatever diet you were on in the past, whatever diet that is and how it applies. You're about to have the desire, drive, and motivation and the hunger to do it, and you don't want to be hungry if that resonates for you. Whatever diet is keto, lax keto, I don't know. I didn't hear specifically what diet it was. It will apply differently for different areas. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But in this case, it is physical hunger. You were physically hungry in the past, but you want to manage your weight, whoever this is for. So whatever diet you decide to go on and whatever works for you, I don't feel you will be hungry this time, or at least God, I hope not. You plug it in how it resonates. I mean, nobody deserves to be hungry. I'm serious. No, I, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm serious. And I have went on diets before where I felt hungry. But the lax keto works well for me. I can, um, as long as I choose within the scope of it, I can eat whatever the hell I want to eat. Of course, only you know what diet you're going to go on, not anybody else. And one Aries is about to find out about a workplace affair. It is about to get a huge fire lit under their ass in a huge way. They're about to communicate with somebody these people do not want them to communicate with. Oh, my Lord. Woo. So in this aspect, it's sexual hunger, but it's not you. Um, it sounds like it's um, you're about to find out about a workplace affair, but it's not your workplace affair. It's somebody you're connected to. I feel for some, you can be managers, bosses, CEOs, supervisors, etc. But... For some, you might not be. For some, you just maybe be a coworker of these people. But it sounds like they're not supposed to be having a workplace affair, um, and they know it is what it sounds like. Um, for some, they could be married, possibly. I mean, I don't know. Um, but however that resonates, you're about to find out about this, and it sounds like it's about to be a bad idea when you find out about it because I heard you're about to communicate with somebody that um, they don't want. These people don't want you to communicate with, and it sounds like it's going to create series of negative series of chain events for them. So you have desire, drive, and motivation to quelch this workplace affair in this aspect. It's sexual hunger here of these two people in your workplace with this workplace affair. You're about to find out about it. Decision's been made on your part. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Indecision, which is decision. And Aries is about to find out they are pregnant. High vibrational Aries. For some, you already have one child. For some, you have three children already. Oh, Lord. You plug it in how it resonates. Well, I heard you're high vibrational. So you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, values, etc. Whoever you are. Um, 
I heard for some of you guys, it sounds like at least two of you guys in universe. For one, you already have one child, I heard. For one, you already have three. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. I feel you're obviously a feminine Aries. You have vaginal parts. Um, and for some, you could be um, transgen transgen transgender, possibly, if you have both parts. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But you definitely have one child for some of you guys. For one, you have three already in the universe. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, but you're high vibrational. You're about to find out you're pregnant. Um, so decision, maybe you and your partner decided to have another child. And, um, or maybe y'all just had some fun time and um, you produced another child. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Because I heard you're high vibrational. I feel you're in a stable, healthy, real, um, stable, healthy connection there. Um, I think there's a lot of stability and grounding there. I think it's a positive, healthy, copacetic relationship, whoever you are, Aries, whether you have one child in the universe already or three, there's nothing wrong with that. So decision to keep the child, decision to move forward, decision to learn by you're about to, um, I heard you're about to find out you're pregnant. So decision I made, um, I'm feeling for you to make it public, no, um, for people to know you're pregnant uh, with either child two or child four. However, that resonates. I, I, that's great. I, there's nothing wrong with that. You go with your bad self. A particular Aries is about to find out about, oh my God, drug smuggling. I heard drug smuggling. Drug smuggling in their workplace soon. I heard drug smuggling. I'm serious. I heard drug smuggling. Oh my God. Where do you work, uh, Aries? How that resonates. Um, one of you guys is about to find out about drug smuggling in your workplace. Now, really, you could work anywhere, but... It's some kind of drug smuggling energy in your workplace. You are about to find out about this. Um, a decision, you're about to make a decision on this drug smuggling. I don't think you agree with this drug smuggling, or at least, God, I hope you don't. For some, I hate to say this, but I feel you might work in a hospital or a long-term care facility or um, probably not assisted living, but probably long-term care or a hospital. It's somewhere with access to drugs, I'll tell you that. And I'm feeling like narcotic, heavy, strong medication energy and I'm just being real so I feel for some you might work in a hospital for some you might work in long-term care um for some you might well not even jail jail doesn't even really carry that much um hard stuff at all at all so I don't feel it's jail I feel it's like a hospital um um uh, long-term care or it could be um anywhere else that carries drugs hard I feel hard drugs like pain, probably pain medication hard pain medication narcotic, opioid energy, um, however that applies. But you're about to make a decision on this. I think you're about to report it is what I'm feeling. I thought you're, you're about to have will and hunger to report the um, drug smuggling is what I'm feeling. Um, oh. It is about to shock the hell out of you. You trusted these people. It is about to shock the hell out of you. You trusted these people. So, oh, wherever, whatever workplace you work at, I told you guys what I thought you could work at, long-term care or um, hospital. But it, it's really anywhere that could um, carry any kind of hard narcotic opioid S-type energy is what I'm feeling. Um, I heard you trusted these people. So these people that are drug smuggling, you trusted them. Um, but you're about to find out. They are in the middle of some kind of drug smuggling energy. But I think you're about to report them to get yourself out of this shit. And I think that's why, for some, you're about to stand up and go against the grain when you find out about, about this drug smuggling of these people that you trusted, if this resonates for you. Oh, my God. A bubble bath is about to become very significant in Aries' life. And an Aries reader is about to block another reader. 
Oh, my Lord. Harassment and bullying. Oh, my God. Whoa. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, a bubble bath is about to become very significant in an Aries life. So, one of you guys, you like bubble baths? I love bubble baths bubble bath. There's nothing wrong with that. You should pamper yourself when you can. You have time. Self-care, baby. Just saying. Um, so bubble bath is about to become significant in one of you guys' life. However, that resonates and applies. And I heard an Aries reader is about to block another reader, harassment, and bullying. So whoever that message is for, you are an Aries reader. So you are a light worker. I feel in the light side realm. Um, whoever you are, Aries reader, masculine or femme, Aries reader. It sounds like you're about to be harassed and bullied by another reader, or you already have been harassed and bullied by another reader. How that resonates and applies, because you're about to block them because of harassment and bullying. So for some, I feel it's been going on for a hot ass minute. For some, it could just have it could just start soon. How that resonates, but harassment and bullying energy of another reader to an Aries reader, and you're about to make the decision to block them. You have the will, desire, drive, drive, and motivation, and the hunger to block them. However, that right resonates. It is an Aries reader and it's another reader you're about to block because of harassment and bullying, either already in the universe or upcoming in the universe. How that resonates. Lord have mercy. I'm sorry. That's terrible. All right. I love you guys so much. Hope this helped and namaste.